Hello traders, Gary Wagner here just after 10.30 in Honolulu, 4.30 in New York. It is Tuesday, August 13th, 2019 and this is uh, the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. Wild price swings in the gold market today as market participants focused on different events as they unfold has really created a range in excess of $50. In overseas trading last night, Market forces push gold to its record high this year of $1,546.10. As it went into New York, there was an announcement by the U.S. trade delegation in which they said they would delay initiating the tariffs that were set to begin on September 1st all the way to the middle of December. That prompted gold to sell off briskly and actually broke below $1,500 trading to low of $1,488 before recovering. It is still down on the day, but well off of the lows as well as the highs. If anything, we are in the mid-range of the trading range today. Let's take a look at our current price board. Traders, as you can see, gold basis most active December contract is currently trading at $1,511.20, putting it down about $6 on the day. However, it is the low that was achieved today as the market sold off briskly that did hit our stops and we took profits on our current trade. We'll talk about that as well as our next step, of course, when we look at some charts. But as it stands, there is some resilience in gold because that recovery from $1,488 took it back up a little bit over $20 and is well above $1,500 per ounce. And to me, that's a critical and important feature of gold pricing today. Silver also lost ground today, about 14 cents, back below $17 at 1693 Palladium gained a healthy 1.27%, $18. It is at $1,400. $48.90, platinum losing about three quarters of a percent, eight fifty seven twenty. And lastly, the majority, if not all of the gains witnessed or losses, excuse me, witnessed in gold today were directly attributable to dollar strength. As you can see, 97.69, up a little bit over a half a percent on the day. Traders, let's take a look at our current technical studies. I want to start today's show off by looking at a daily gold futures chart. This, of course, is most active December. We're currently down about $5.30 at $15.1190. Of course, what is critically important to us is the range today because these lows that came in at around $14.88 and the lows that came in, of course, at 1488 did hit our stop on the way down. We had a stop sitting at 1496.13. Of course, we went long this market at 1474.40 for a profit today of $21.73 per ounce, which results in a profit of $2,173 per ounce. COMEX contract. So although I wish we had pulled a little bit more profits and in fact would have preferred to still be long this market, that is not the case. We'll pull profits and now the question becomes where from here? Well, we see that we had this tremendous range and the down ticks were really due to the fact that the U.S. trade delegation today came out with the statement announcing that they will delay the initiation of the $300 billion worth of Chinese imports, the tariffs at 10% till the middle of December. And what we saw really was a tremendously large range in the market, which began overseas. And that's when we hit these highs. Market was trading sharply higher, went to 1546.10. That was on the protests in Hong Kong and the uh, action going on in Argentina that collectively really put some upside momentum into the market. And then this statement by U.S. trade delegation really took this market down. If gold can remain above $1,500, I remain extremely bullish. That is a key level. And we talked about different levels that we want to look at in terms of the upside potential. 
I still believe the market could easily take out current pricing and go as high as 1561. That is a 1.618% extension. It is an extension of the first leg of the rally. We talked about this a little bit yesterday, but we're looking at the first leg starting at 1166.80, moving up to about 1350, then correcting. And so this last component is what we're looking at as the next leg. All things being equal, I want to let the dust settle before we make a decision and try to get in at the best possible price. Of course, if the market continues under pressure, over the next couple of days, and most importantly, breaks back below 1500. That presents a whole new set of variables, and we will bring in a different model that is looking at current pricing in a corrective stage and moving to lower ground. And we've kind of touched upon where it could go, but we'll look at that in detail if, in fact, the market breaks below that. My sense is that there is enough fundamental news out there that will be supportive of gold prices so that we should see it consolidate around this price point. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.